In this video, you will see an example of material selection to enhance performance. This tray arm from a passenger aircraft seat is currently made from cast aluminum A380. There is an industry-wide initiative to save weight. We want to make a lighter part to the same design. Can we use a polymer to replace the aluminum? The new material must not deflect or break under the load conditions, which are known. And there are several other constraints. In Chart Select, start a new selection project using Material Universe and all bulk materials. You can search to find the reference, Cast Aluminum, Grade 380. Find the Material Universe record, and from the menu, choose Set as Reference. Return to Chart Select. First, make a chart of the objectives, low cost and low weight. The design is fixed, so you can simply plot the density against the price per unit volume. The light and cheap materials are at the bottom left of the chart. Highlight reference shows the price and density of the original cast aluminum. There are many lighter and cheaper materials, but they must also meet the other constraints. The processing requirement is for near net shape processes. You can set this with a tree stage. Use the process universe table to select materials that are compatible with the processes you choose, using links in the database. Double-click the casting folder to include all casting processes. For molding, you can be more specific. Open the molding folder and choose a single process. The result is all materials that can be processed with casting or thermoplastic injection molding. Hide the failed records from the chart. There are still a number of materials that offer improved performance. Add the other constraints with a limit stage. The material must have at least an acceptable tolerance for cleaning products that include weak acids and weak alkalis. The material must also be non-flammable or self-extinguishing. Apply the constraints and return to the chart. Finally, the material must perform under load. To translate load conditions into material properties, use the Engineering Solver tool. The tray arm is a beam in bending, with a rectangular cross-section. Input the breadth, depth, and length in millimeters, or another unit. Then enter the type of loading, load force, safety factor, and maximum allowed deflection. The material property requirements appear below. You can implement them with a limit stage. The Young's modulus and yield strength are found under mechanical properties. Return to the chart, and identify the materials with lower density. Several reinforced polymers have emerged as candidates, and the weight saving could be up to 50%. Although the polymers are more expensive, the decision to replace would also take into account processing costs and fuel savings from light weighting.